to the uh, glass segment of the beer review. Um, today is going to be probably part one of maybe two or three parts of uh, different types of beer glasses to drink out of. Um, what beer is best for that glass, what you shouldn't probably use in the glass because of the way it pours. Um, today here we've got, starting off with just a, a typical like lager or ale glass. <laughs> we've got a, uh, uh, this one here is a Bavarian Pilsner. This is a Czechoslovakian Pilsner. This is a just a uh, typical British pub glass. You know, nothing, nothing too special. Uh, this one you use lagers, ales with. Uh, this is more or less something that you don't necessarily want to drink a beer out of. Um, you're not going to get any kind of special pour with it, but you see a lot of people drink out of these types of glasses anyway. And then this is the King of Kings. This is a German beer stein. And this is definitely our uh, drinking glass of choice for the simple fact um, when you pour, uh, I, you know, I think it's the way that the, uh, the glass itself is shaped. You do get a little bit of uh, head on it if you use something like a Guinness or any kind of stout, lager, ale, anything that's going to have a little bit of head or a lot of head. But it'll hold three bottles of beer, which is amazing. Well, yeah, which is amazing. It cuts so, down on the time that you have to spend pouring your beer. True. <laughs> and it's actually quite heavy, too, once you're done. Um, <laughs> So, so it's a workout and yeah, <laughs> it's it's a little bit of workout too. You work that that drinking arm for you know for the championship. So we're gonna go ahead and do a few demonstration pours just to yeah. show the glasses in all their glory. Well, yeah, so that's besides the point. Well, yeah. <laughs> we can't all be perfect. <laughs> we have here just a nice uh, Sam Adams Boston Lager. We'll put in the Sam Adams pint glass. As you can see how he's tilting it too, usually you want to tilt your glass when you pour the beer and that way you don't just get a lot of head on top of it and then have to wait for the head to go down to pour the rest yeah. of the beer in. Overall pretty good pour. Um, the thing you want to do too is once you get to about a third of a bottle, you want to gradually pull the glass upright and pour in, that way you get the development of that head. As yeah. you can see, this is a pretty good pour. The head, it, it fills up the glass so it's just about, it was pretty much a good pour. Yeah. yeah, the beer was just right for the glass. Well, I, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, next we're going to go ahead and go to our Bavarian Pilsner glass. Uh, I think this one holds about 19 ounces, so it's going to hold a little more than your you know, your typical beer bottle. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to stock up with any of these specialty beers for these, so we're yeah. just going to go with some standards. We have, uh, sticking to some Samuel Adams, we have the uh, Old Festwig Ale. And we'll go ahead and do that. It'll have about the same consistency of a Pilsner being an ale, so that won't go too fast. Once you want these here, you want to be careful too, because as you start to pour, you almost pour too fast, because the way the bottom is, you get a lot of swirling and you have a lot of head, which is good for a lot lighter beer that's not going to hold its head nearly as long. As I start to pour here, you can see immediately the sort of head that starts to develop from this glass. And let's go ahead and put it back upright. Overall, not bad. It was almost just perfect. He like said, if you had more beer, this is a larger glass for a larger beer. Exactly. But it works fine for our general purposes. Yeah. All right. Um, next, we're going to go with our uh, Czechoslovakian Pilsner glass. Again, we don't have any specialty beers for this. We're going to use the next best thing. Um, we've got a Cherry Lambic, uh, Samuel Adams. And Cherry Lambic doesn't uh, have a lot of head. Yeah, this is one, too, that it's really... This is a Pilsner glass is really nice from the Lambics because it's not nearly as carbonated, won't get as nearly as much of a head. Mm -hmm. So this one will help you generate that. And this one you get a lot more swirl at the, the very base of it too, which is I think kind of based the design is based on that. Give you a little more flavor. Swirl it up a bit more. Yep, just perfect. Yeah, just right. As you can see with this beer, there's not uh, that much head to it. Ooh, that looks tasty. Hmm, I'm sure we'll be came out to drink all these afterwards. I know. All right, um, and of course next we've just got our standard uh, English pub glass. Um, you'll notice the design here, how it kind of bows out a little bit um, all the way around. That's more or less so you know when to start tipping the glass up. Right about here is when you would tip it up, and then it, it, the way it swirls as it picks up and starts building the head all the way to the top. So for this we have a nice uh, Cooper's Brewery Best Extra Stout. Was the best extra step too? Yes. yes. Not bad. It was, it was a lot of extra steps. You don't have necessarily a lot of head. Yeah, exactly. But then again, you don't necessarily need them. So, true. I don't worry, Sam. 
Moving on to the smug. Yeah, this is what we like to call a smug. Um, for people who, who think they're drinking out of something like this, but really they're drinking out of a cheap knockoff that doesn't really have any sort of characteristic to it that makes it a drinking glass. <laughs> exactly, it's just a glass. I mean, there's there's nothing special. Some people you know, think they drink beer out of these, are like, oh yeah, this is my beer glass. So I'm like, well yeah, well fuck you, this is mine. So. <laughs> just because it's big doesn't mean it's good. Exactly. Especially the fact that you have something like this too, you can't fit, whereas this you can fit three whole beers in this, if you're not drinking at a cheap restaurant like Hooters and drinking from tap, it doesn't do you a lot of good. Yeah. If, especially if you have to buy it, or if you have bottles and you want to pour it, this doesn't do you much good because you'll be either down to here or you'll have half a beer left to pour and it's, it's really awkward. Like I said, it tends to turn anyone who has any sense wouldn't drink it or something like this. Well, it doesn't give you, you don't get a good pour out of it either. Oh, no. Like if you ever poured a beer in this, I mean, the, the head and everything, it just kind of, you know, I, I think it filters off. I, that or you get too much head. You, you know, even tilting it as you pour, you're either going to end up with this much head in it, or you're going to end up with, you know, hardly any at all. Um, and then moving on to the goddess of all. <laughs> yes, the uh, German beer stein. Um, you know, a lot of people, you might have seen these around uh, in movies. Um, I think they had some of these at beer fest. Oh, yeah. I, I think I remember seeing people drinking out of these. Um, not a, I know this came from Germany. Um, uh, my great uncle gave it to my mom, who was going to throw them away, and I uh, I quickly grabbed those until, up. We, until we discovered that that was happening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, it's been my signature drinking glass ever since. And amazingly enough, it's made it all these years intact. They haven't yeah. gotten broken. Well, they're pretty sturdy. If you pick that up, you can really feel the weight to it. It's you wouldn't want to drop it, but you wouldn't want to drop it on anyone either. <laughs> no, <laughs> drop it on your foot, and you're going to hospital. Right, if you'd like to fill that up to show the fact that we can put three beers in there. Here, I can go ahead and open these two up for you. All right. Okay. I'm going to use a, a Cooper's, um, uh, what do we have first? Oh, the original Pale Ale. Now, this one you got to pour kind of slow, too. Because you'll get, a, especially with this, because you'll get a lot more head from the last beer you pour than the first. So you kind of want to take your time with the first couple beers you pour in, or else you'll have way too much head. Yeah, I've done that before. Then your head starts to foam up over the top of it. Yeah. And contrary to popular belief, you can't have too much head. Yes. <laughs> One down. Two. Probably two. Now, as you're pouring this, you start thinking, after the second bottle, you know, this isn't going to hold three bottles, but, uh, Believe it or not, it does. I mean, if you can see right now, you know, where we're about at in the glass, you start thinking, ah, oh, no, that, that third bottle's not going to fit in there. But we'll make it. And it's nice, too, especially if you use a dark beer in these. So the last one, you can actually get the head to stand up off the glass.